All right, folks. So we have we have a few different things here to go over. Let's start off with number 14, Doc. This is Poe Murray. Have no idea who this person is, but clearly they support. Uh, anyway, no. it's the Epstein <laughs> Orange Square. Let's just call it that. Uh, anyway, so Poe has this to say. In response to an AP article saying breaking Justice Department sues Texas over law that would let police arrest migrants who enter the U.S. illegally. And Poe's addition to this news story? Big, good, good take. Yep. Yeah. U.S. guns arm the Mexican drug cartel, displacing people to the border. Republicans who obstruct gun control are fueling the border crisis. Uh, the only thing missing from this <laughs> is climate change and a few other things. You know, gas stoves. and <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. I mean, what a reach that is. But this, this is the logic yes. or lack thereof that we're dealing mm -hmm. with when trying to combat these morons that want to take our rights away. These are the links that they'll go to to try to connect the dots, to try to justify their positions. And it's pathetically, well, right. I mean, this is, so, this is so out there that, I mean, wow. I mean, what's your take, right? And this is, the, I, I just, I, I about fell out of my chair when I read that one. <laughs> I couldn't believe well, it. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Maybe that's why your chair was broken before filming. Maybe that was the problem. You read this tweet. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> he actually, guys, he actually did almost fall out of his chair like four times. It was hilarious. Yeah. Um, I was doing the old Joe Biden going up the short steps into the cargo hold, <laughs> you know? Anyway. <laughs> Is that a euphemism or is that? Uh, never mind. <laughs> they, they don't let him um, go up the big stairs anymore because he falls down them. So they, they let him go up the short steps into the cargo hold and he still has a hard time. That's anyway, the, that's the second rumble strip. The cargo hold reference you've made. Um, <laughs> anyway, so here's the thing with this. Uh, I'm going to do two things. My answer will be twofold. Okay. First, you are absolutely correct. The mental gymnastics that are required to take a the worst polling issue for the Biden administration and Democrats nationwide and Invert it in this twisted way to say, well, yes, it is bad. And yes, there is no border security. And yes, there are more people crossing than ever before. And yes, it's an issue. And yes, Kamala Harris did put it in place. But you know what else Kamala Harris did? She's now in charge of the Gun Violence Prevention Office. And therefore, since I mentioned it, since it was brought up, uh, the reason they're immigrating is obviously guns, which were produced from the United States, which are causing it. Ipso facto, it's not Biden's fault. Immigration is bad, but guns are the, are the problem. So really, you guys should vote Democrat. It is so impressive. Yep. It is so hey, impressive. Let's take Poe's post at face value. Who's the biggest exporter of American firearms to Mexico? Drum roll, please. The BATF. So maybe oh. the solution here is to ban the BATF and then we can stop the flow of guns to Mexico and everybody can hold hands in mm. Kumbaya and police Navidad and all that crazy stuff and have a good time. Oh, I like how you mixed in a cultural an accurately cultural reference there. That was that was good. Man, you are. I'm just responding are, are to that, that, that great version of Feliz Navidad that the uh, Colorado governor did on X. That was Yeah. Uh, no, that was good. That was good. You know, the um, now comes my second point. I'm sorry. And I think <laughs> The wiggle, the lunatic. wiggle is nice. Anyway, no, no, I love it. Um, the the second point, and this and this I think is important because I noticed this a lot, but sometimes it pops its ugly head. And this is a good example. When you are when you are looking at the people who do things like this, now this is just one example. Other people do it. It's not just this individual who does this. Um, but when you have a predetermined virtue or a moral equivalency to your political position. And therefore, the next step is, well, I'm doing it for said political position because I'm morally virtuous. It quickly becomes something we've seen in history a lot. Yes, this may not be a great move right now, but I'm doing it because I'm right. They are clearly wrong. And this needs to be done in order to achieve that right. We've seen this a lot. And the left particularly, I'm not just saying just the left, but the left particularly does this thing where they try to take the moral high ground and if you disagree with them, you are clearly not a moral person. Therefore, whatever they're about to do to you is perfectly justified because they have the moral and virtue signal ground. Right. And that's extremely dangerous. But that, that's how leftism works across the board, not just the United States. Well, this, yes, this is a tactic that they is. employ everywhere they try to take power. So, yeah. It's not just gun controllers. That's why I mentioned that. But it's something that when you equate political pos positions to moral superiority, uh, bad things happen. Real bad things happen. Yep. Anyway. All right. Let's move on to number 15. Take on that. 
So too serious. Yeah, number okay. fifteen is a good one. So this comes to us from the USA Singers. Uh, they don't have the orange square, but they are followed by Harry Sison, which should let you know that they're probably oh, not lot. right in the head. A lot. Yeah. And they had this to say, dear Republicans. Democrats aren't coming for your guns. We're coming to give you health care, education, child care, a living wage, paid sick leave, paid vacation time, paid maternity leave, cheap green energy, affordable housing, safe neighborhoods, free phones, free food, free everything. Just vote for us. Um, they're not coming for our guns, folks. And my response to that was a very simple one. I just jumped over to the congressional website <laughs> and pulled up the 2324 assault weapons ban that's been proposed. Um, lie much? Right. By Democrats. Yeah. By, by Democrats. By Democrats. Yes. And, and then, of course, you all have to is sit on X for a few minutes and it's the guns, it's the guns, it's the guns. We need an assault weapons ban mm -hmm. now. The, the vice president's out there calling for that. Uh, the president's yeah. out there calling for that. Uh, but rest assured, folks, <laughs> nothing to see here. They're not. We're not coming for not. your guns. We're just all about safety. Uh, exactly. Meanwhile, we're no, just going to exactly. ban them. Yeah. I mean, exactly. And you know what stood out there to me, Tim? Sorry to cut you off. I apologize. No, no, please. But you know what stood out to me there? Um, there's a little bit of plagiarism here. I think there is when I'm reading this. Um, I think they plagiarized the little pamphlets that from like the 1800s that were given out to all the Native American tribes <laughs> because that's exactly what was said to them. Yep. Um, hey. No, no, we're coming to bring you civilization. We're coming to bring you education, healthcare, housing, energy, food. We're trying. We're coming to help you. Uh, you just need to give up all your guns. Hey, and, oh yeah. my gosh, hey guys, what happened? They sent out you know flyers and writers like, "Hey guys, yeah. block party at Wounded Knee. Come on by, bring your guns. You know, beer and, and, and blankets for everybody." And then when they get there, like, "Hey, why don't you go ahead and give us those guns?" And they're like, uh, "Hey, no." And then uh, a one-sided gunfight ensues, and they slaughter the Native Americans in their disarmament scheme. But they tell the story it's as. Weird. Something completely different, but anyway, uh, th th yeah. that's that's yeah, an entire episode. Different. That would be a great episode to talk about the history of gun control in America. Oh, we're going to. Uh, I think I think we're going to. Yeah. I think that's a that's a good one because this this legitimately, when you hear things like this, that is terrifying. Like to me, anyway, that that's terrifying. It's like um, it's such a blatant. It didn't line. work out every time we've seen this. Yeah. Like every time a government says this, it's like yeah, that's what we're coming for. But you know, we're just gonna not. <laughs> I mean, like. Yeah. You look at the socialism of the of the European area, uh, European continent from, and honestly, sub Eurasian continent from like I don't know what, all, but pretty much the entire twentieth century. This was the line. It was all about the rich are going to take everything from you, so we're going to take everything from the rich, and we're going to provide all these things as the centralized government, socialism, communism, all these organizations Fascism. of political thought, yeah. and yeah, and and all of them, and le legitimately, these are the exact same points, and it's like. Oh my God! All you got to do is give up your freedoms, and you get all this good stuff. Yeah, Goebbels could have written that statement. Freedom is not a currency. Yep, freedom is not a currency. From the government, that's we're here to incredibly help. Incredibly point. All yeah, right, that's sweet goodness. But let's go to the next one. All right, because this next one's a little spicy. All right. <laughs> so this is uh, th th this is from number sixteen, Doc, and this is from Eric Dang. Dang it, Eric. Uh, and, and he had this to <laughs> add to the conversation on X. Uh, funny thing: one crazy person with an AR can kill, uh, can and has killed how many? as compared to parents choosing? Uh, and my response to them was, well, mm -hmm. AR-15s misusing crime every year, less than 100 murders based on FBI stats, a number of abortions carried out in the United States every year, around 800,000, try harder. Uh, I mean, here they are literally, the same, right? literally trying to compare gun ownership to abortion, <laughs> okay? Yeah. And, and an abortion, which is ending a human life, a child, the same children they claim they want to protect, well, he just calls that a choice. You know, it's like it's when I walk into a bank and shoot everybody and take all the money. It's just a choice. It, it's a choice. It's a choice. I, there's really no crime there. It's it just, they no. were in my way. I needed the money. Just a choice. Well, and and you know what? It's it's interesting that you that you bring that. And this is kind of like the last one. That's a good one to wrap on. Because one of the things that I like to do in these conversations, and I think that we we tend to do this pretty thoroughly, is look at all the hypocrisy. Look at all the different slide rulers of if this, then that, and if we talk about this and call it that and definitions, all of the controlling apparatus that the Democrats or the liberals or the leftists, all of the apparatus that they bring forward, they're all contingent on a few different things. 
if this is the scenario, then you say this. If this is the scenario, you say this. But if something doesn't work, then we just change the definition. So now it works. Like you can look across the board. You can look at abortion. Well, that's just a fetus. That's a woman's healthcare choice. That's just a uh, that's a clump of cells. Or you could say that's not a child. Whatever it is. But then on the opposite side, for a different pillar of their sacred cows and their political platforms, it's for the children. We're taking all the gun rights for the children. And that's what, what we about, point out. The, the, what if, yes. Right, right. We point out all the time. And then if you look at this consistently, it doesn't make sense when you just zoom out like a little bit. And and not only that, just the numbers themselves. Uh, you're right. It's like 100 murders per year, and which are terrible, by the way. But con- contrasting that to 800,000. Yeah. By the way, when you dive into those numbers, they're specifically affecting minorities. Another conflict of what they're saying oh, is absolutely. it's all about the system conflicting against the minorities. Vast majority Meanwhile, of Planned Parenthood vast majority are in, in, in minority areas. Absolutely. And, and that goes yeah. back to the, the founder of Planned Parenthood being for yes, the extermination of say. black people. But they won't talk about yes. that either. Margaret Sanger, look it up. It's absolutely correct. Yep. So, And Hillary Clinton said she's one of her idols. I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of knowledge between our two noggins, and this is stuff that you need to understand and know because these people They're evil. It's about the moral equivalency. Yep. Well, you can you can put your own title on it. Anybody no, they're can evil. Do that. That's not our place to do it. I, I will say it. They're just straight up evil. A lot of these folks are just pure evil. And that, I mean that's on both sides, but the people we're talking about right now are just absolutely uh, anyway. Go ahead. I'm sorry. The mind the mindset of making one less than others based on political preference yeah. is an evil concept. You deplorables. Right. Yes. Yeah. God, I'm sitting here trying to get up back into like, we're not in trouble. We're not in trouble. And you're like, nope, we're I going in. right back in the hole. But anyway, okay, we're, I'll start. We're going now. right back in the cargo, the cargo hold.